Thanks for joining us. I'm Andrea Albers. Today, a day of service in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. And there are several events and ceremonies in our area honoring his legacy. Among them, Old World Third Street is officially becoming part of Martin Luther King Jr. Drive today. This is a live look at the ceremony going on right now. Alderwoman Malele Coggs and Alderman Robert Bauman are hosting the renaming ceremony and we'll show you a portion of this ceremony when they begin talking. The stretch between West McKinley Avenue and I-43 is already named after the civil rights leader. It's the remaining length of the street from McKinley to West Wisconsin Avenue that will be officially renamed. That ceremony is taking place at the intersection of North MLK Junior Drive and West Wisconsin Avenue. And across the city, other events hope to spread Dr. King's message of peace and unity, including the YMCA's 25th annual MLK Day celebration. Our Elaine Rojas Castillo joins us with more from this morning's powerful presentation. We're standing next to the city statue in honor of the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on the celebration of his birthday nationwide. The civil rights icon would have turned 93 on Saturday, but this morning the YMCA of Metropolitan Milwaukee spent the National Day of Service honoring local efforts to spread Dr. King's message. We have to change. As a kid, I want to be in the community. But what does that look like? How can we take care of ourselves and others? In its 25th year, the annual event was held virtually again this year due to the pandemic. But organizers used the distance to their advantage, getting perspectives from a number of voices in the community in their hope of fostering connection and understanding. Our ambition is to create safe and welcoming spaces, which truly celebrate diversity. Our staff and volunteers reflect the richness of the communities we serve and are culturally competent because representation matters. Leaders like Governor Tony Evers and acting Mayor Cavalier Johnson highlighted Dr. King's mission of eliminating injustice and just how far we have left to go to make that happen. We can combat systemic inequities, advance racial justice and build the sort of future we all want to see for our state. One that is more just, more equitable and where every family and every kid can thrive. We, we must set our minds and our hearts to reach the beloved community. Let us reflect on our emotions and on our spirit. Through our nonviolent actions, we are the living legacy of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And that legacy lives on in the hands of some of our community's next generation. It's all about change so the world can be a better place. We can have a healthy community. How with me, you, and you. We should honor what Dr. King wanted to have a beloved community. Change your souls, change your lives. And as the celebration came to a close, two key messages were made clear. While today is a federal holiday, it's a day on, not a day off, and no change is ever too small. In that spirit, the Y is also hosting a week-long deliberate dialogues panel series in what the organization calls its efforts to live up to its social responsibility pillar by honoring the work and life of Dr. King. Reporting in Milwaukee, Elaine Rojas Castillo, TMJ4 News. Thank you for that, Elaine. Meanwhile, tonight the hone will light up in honor of MLK, and you can see it in person from dusk until 2 a.m. There are a number of celebrations around southeast Wisconsin today for MLK Day, including a commemoration at the Dr. King statue at 1 o'clock. If you'd like to see a list of those events, just scan the QR code right there on your screen, and you will be directed to that webpage.